hey, what's going on, YouTube? Finally getting around to recording a video for Lou Rock TV's uh, Relic Card uh, video response. Uh, so I'm going to throw some of my cards. I don't really have too many. Um, well, I have some more, but I figured I'm not going to pull them all out. Uh, just trying to show some different stuff off. I don't even think this guy is even in the league anymore. I think this is 2008 Diamondbacks card. I figured something a little different. I think it's pack pulled. Um, I think I might have pulled this out of one of those Fairfield boxes a long time ago and stuck it in, in my uh, container I used for cards and kind of forgot that I had it. Uh, so I figured I'd grab this one and show this off. Uh, something a little different because most of these are going to be Dodger cards. So figured I'd do something a little different. Blake Snell, um, you know, because I pack pulled a couple of tops. This, if you ever go through the next couple of our, our pack pulled, um, you ever go through packs and, and say, hey, that one feels a little thicker and put it aside. So I think these next couple are that. Um, so the same thing with, with this one. Um, And then these next couple, I think I'll pull these. I bought a box. There's just a shop not too far from me that I end up picking up a box of these Panini. And these were, I guess, the relic cards that were there. I guess you're supposed to get a couple of relic cards in each box. So um, I think this is back in summer 2020 that I end up getting these. Um, unfortunately, these aren't. Um, what do you call it? Uh, they don't have the licensing in it or whatnot, it's too, which is actually too bad because they're you know kind of cool looking cards and all that. But any, anyway, it is what it is. So the next few should be all Dodgers cards. Well, no, except for one. Take that back. So Andre Ethier, I think I, I picked this one up. I've been trying to pick up some cards of Andre Ethier. It's kind of a LA Dodgers fan favorite. So one of my all-time you know, favorite players. Good player, but he's never going to get in the Hall of Fame, unfortunately. But a uh, little cool little bat relic card of him. Uh, Cody Bellinger. Uh, same thing. That's from the Treasures. Unfortunately, it's not licensed by Major League Baseball. So, cool looking card, nevertheless. Started off really great and kind of fell off a cliff. Not that he's, he's really good defensively, so I don't know what happened with bat. So, still a good player, though. And then, uh, Will Smith. Another Dodgers catcher. Uh, wouldn't say he's terribly behind the plate, but he's not one of the best defensive catchers. I guess he's gotten better over the last couple of years, but we're going to want to kind of pick up a little card of his autograph and all that patch card. So, same thing with these Leaf cards. They're not authorized license by Middle League Baseball. I did pick this one up 2022 tops and, and uh, shop I picked this up from had a Mike Trout. I probably should have picked that one up too, but I just I don't know why I'm kicking myself not picking it up. But I was there. Um, cool looking card. Uh, Trout card is the same thing. It's got a number. So I'm not sure what that actually cut, came off of, but um, it's supposed to be a jersey patch card. So uh, this one I ended up pulling that out of a pack, and I figured well it's, it's you know Ozzy Smith. So I'm gonna. Send this off to get graded, and you know, it's kind of cool looking card. So, did pull this one out of card or pack, and I set it aside because I figured that pack feels a little bit thicker, and it's, it's kind of felt like there's something in there. So that's why uh, I kind of <laughs> pack stretch and see if there's anything. You know, out of the ordinary in some of these cards, or some of these packs, rather. Uh, and this Corey Seager one, I think I ended up buying this card. Unfortunately, he signed with Texas, so I can't say I blame the guys. Off a lot of money, and there's no way the Dodgers could have kept everybody after they won that 2020 World Series. Good player on a bad team. So, uh... Thought this was kind of cool card. I you know picking this one out for shop, local shop, and sending out for grading. Uh, Tops is notoriously 
tough on these kind of thicker cards. And no, actually, take that back. I don't know. Did did uh, now that I'm thinking about it, did, uh, I don't know why it's coming back before, but I think Tony Cyclone Baseball sent me this one. Take that back, Tony. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. We got that you sent me this one a long time ago. And then last one is uh, I know I picked this one up at uh, another one of my local shops and. Um, I, some of these, the, I sent this back into SGC back before they raised their prices and, and all that. So it's just one of those things that just wanted to send this one off to, I don't care about the grade. Just, so then I probably should have found some other, well, I guess this was back before the other card companies had come out. So I just wanted to send this thing in and have it protected a little bit just because it's, you know, Walter Austin. I think he was the manager of some of the 60s, the 1960s Dodgers teams that won the World Series. I can't remember if he was the, yeah, well, obviously, I'm looking at the, the hat now of him in Boston, or, well, where I'm, Brooklyn. <laughs> I have to stop watching TV as I'm recording stuff. Uh, so, obviously, he was a Brooklyn Dodger manager, and he won a couple of World Series in L.A. when they moved out west. So, uh, it's just one of those things I think I want to do protect it just because uh, not, not that top loader wouldn't but something a little more protective than um, just the real top loader so anyway uh, that's what I got do uh, not a whole lot just didn't have enough to really put together you know team and then what do you do with this one I mean we're both shortstop so both good players and obviously Hall of Famer and all that but anyway Lou, um, congratulations on Kern uh, having this idea and all the subscribers. And hopefully this will get you a lot more. So anyway, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.